There's a new Star Trek movie coming out, and William Shatner isn't in it. Wonder how he feels about that, huh? When you get Captain's Log, Stardate, Hollywood. William Shatner? Guilty as charged. I hope you don't mind, but I just had to see, had to know, had to feel my Star Trek legacy. So you're the boy who would be me. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Chris Pine. Not bad. <laughs> Strong hand. Thick hair. <laughs> that musky Newkirk smell. <laughs> You'll do. Oh, we need to start <laughs> shooting again, but, but please, Mr. Shatner, please feel free to watch. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Hey! We were too late. Beat me up, Mr. Scott. And cut nice tick cars. Yes, but was it nice enough? <laughs> Mr. Director, if I may, I don't know. Slow down. Make the sentence last. <laughs> okay, and, and again. Here we go, here we go. Mr. Shatner? Right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Action! Why? We were too late. Beam me up. Mr. Scott! And cut! <laughs> that, that, but here's, here's my newest note. Try it like this. We were too late. Beam me up, Mr. Scott! <laughs> Another thing, Newkirk. Never let an alien woman go unkissed. The only thing that should come out of her mouth should be... your tongue. Kirk doesn't have a love interest in this script. That's okay. He does in my draft. <laughs> and from now on, I'll play Kirk. You can play Spock. Go ahead. <laughs> they can fix that, I'm sure. Somebody toss me a strange alien beast. We don't have any. That's why I always bring my own. And you, say action. Okay. Action. <laughs> Captain, it appears that you're grappling a space ant. Yes, Mr. Spock, thank you. And you, Mr. Space Ant. <laughs> I have heard of you! Ah! Uh.